So maybe you've heard about reincarnating with soulmates, but what about twin flames? Yep, we're going to talk about twin flames again, my friend. It's been a long time, but I will say this topic, this question recently came up in my private community and I realized it's uh, kind of an important one and it's one I hadn't done a video on before. So we're going to dive into that in a second. I'm really excited about it. But first, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Hannah, and I help people to own their powers and step into the driver's seat of their own lives. And today, I'm going to be doing that by helping you to better understand your own twin flame journey, your own twin flame connection, so that you can step into a space of inner unity and unfuck with ability. So what we're about to talk about in this video can actually be a sign, a big sign that someone is your twin flame. And therefore it can help you to determine whether or not you have met your twin flame. Unlike soulmates, which I've talked about up in this video here, there can be some serious differences between a twin flame versus a soulmate. And so if you want to learn more about that, I'd encourage checking out that video. Today, we're going to focus specifically on this question, which is, can you have past lives with your twin flame? So to answer the question just briefly before really diving into it, I would say, of course you can. Anything's possible. Yes, you can. However, just because you can doesn't mean you necessarily will. So unlike soulmates who will incarnate lifetime after lifetime after lifetime together and work out things basically every life, twin flames have a tendency not to incarnate with each other, at least not so much. Why this happens is because usually one twin is going to just like be the the gauntlet twin, the the matrix twin, the the twin that's going to deal with this uh, oftentimes brutal video game of life, and they're going to go down. They're going to have an adventure. They're going to incarnate, and they're going to be dealing with all these like physical realm, three D realm struggles and challenges and everything that comes about with being incarnated in a physical body. As I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, it can often be challenging, right? So therefore, what would happen is uh, one twin would incarnate like this and another would stay up in the higher realms and sort of like protect and watch over and guide, act like as a spirit guide to the incarnated twin. Therefore, one twin was always kind of anchoring the spiritual energy, the divine feminine energy of the connection. And the other twin was always kind of anchoring the, the physical energy, the divine masculine energy of the connection at any given time. Just like the yin yang symbol, you know, you have one above and one below, but each one holds a part of the other within it. So I would say this is kind of how it was for a very long time. So all of that being said, twin flames can and do still incarnate together simultaneously. Just because you've met your twin flame in this life doesn't mean, oh crap, they can't actually be my twin flame because it, it's, it doesn't really happen that twin flames meet. That is no longer really the case. It's still possible for twin flames to incarnate together simultaneously. However, in my personal experience with myself, with clients, it just seems to be a whole hell of a lot rarer for it to happen. So at this point, I'm aware of countless past lives that I've had specifically here on earth. Just so, so many, like probably over like 40 different ones. And I can tell you that I can count on this hand how many incarnations I've had with my twin flame. Whereas soulmate connections that I'm aware of, like they'll show up again and again and again. I've only had a few times where me and my twin flame incarnated together in the 3D. And I will also add that each time this happened in the past, it ended 
horribly. It ended tragically. It was not fun. And so I can tell you now being incarnated at the same time as my twin flame, there's a lot of uh, baggage there that needs to be transmuted on both my side and my twins that says like, oh, we can't be together. It's going to get one or the other of us killed. Like it's, it's just not a good idea. And likely, friend, if you're watching, you've had the same experience. Probably you too have had at least a few previous incarnations with your twin flame. Likely it's a bit rarer, it's not as common as incarnations with soulmates, but you've probably had them. And if you have, almost definitely it ended poorly, which is exactly why you are struggling um, to get into union or even to stay in the union with your twin flame right now in the 3D because these old programs, this old karma from your past lives, which also happens to be the collective's karma, is kind of like weighing you down, holding you back, being like, no, this is a, not a good idea. Stay away from that person. It will not end well. And this was uh, the, the trajectory for a long time, I will say, because the vibration of Earth was much lower, it was much slower up until now, okay? So it was slower, it was heavier, it was denser. Twin flames, if you were not aware, hold the frequency of unity consciousness and unconditional love and acceptance. This is something that couldn't really exist on this planet for too long in the past. Yes, our planet was that heavy and it was that low vibe. It was that fucked up that you couldn't hold frequencies of true, pure unity consciousness and unconditional love for long. So even if twins incarnated together, they met, they were together. Usually they were ripped apart pretty quickly, pretty brutally because that that energy just wasn't sustainable at that time. Now, however, the energies are lifting. This is the ascension process, right? The ascension is a shift from the lower vibrational 3D energies to the higher vibrational 5D energies and above. And as such, now it's not only possible for twin flames to be together, it's almost kind of necessary. You're going to see more and more twin flames are incarnating together now than ever before because it is very necessary for humanity's ascension for twin flames to come together and ground this energy of unconditional love and unity consciousness on the planet, not just for themselves and their own happily ever after, but for the collective at large, for Mother Earth, for the frequency of this planet. So it's very necessary right now I would say and as such this is why you can see so many twin flames incarnating together now why this keeps coming up in the collective so many people are talking about twin flames it's such a buzzword because it's a huge part of this ascension process that we are now undergoing and it's really, really exciting so all that being said if, if it doesn't feel that way to you if you're feeling alone on this journey or like you're completely crazy, maybe you've told your friends, your family about your twin flame connection and they're like, why are you obsessed with this person? Just, just let them go. You're too good for them. Why are you holding out for them? You're just feeling totally crazy, isolated, like you can't move on. I would encourage you to join my private community, the House of the Spirit Dragon, because we have a lot of twin flames in that community. Um, and I can tell you from personal experience, only people on the twin flame journey can truly understand other people on the twin flame journey. I have also had the experience of telling my friends and family about this experience. And basically every single one of them, except for other twin flames, think I'm like absolutely batshit and they're like well just move on like that's that's how the cookie crumbles and stuff and they're well-meaning of course um they they totally want the best for me and it feels under what they're used to the energies the experiences that they've had that this is the best thing for me however I'm sure I don't need to tell you if you're on this journey 
there's still something inside yourself that you, you just can't shake when you've met your true twin flame. You just know that you've, you've met someone special and you know that it's going to work out eventually, even if you don't know how. Anyways, that was a long-winded rabbit hole, but my uh, point in that is if you're on the twin flame journey and you're struggling and you don't feel understood, I'd encourage you to join a community. Even if it's not mine, you can join other communities. I would say be cautious though. Be cautious because there is uh, a lot of uh, sketchy practices around twin flames. Like it's, it's a buzzword, right? And um, people can, of course, take advantage of that. But I can tell you if, if you join my community, we got your back. We got you. We're all very down to earth. Um, and you can definitely share and explore your twin flame experiences without judgment there. So that is where I think we're going to end it today, friends. Um, I'm curious, though, before we dip, if you could let me know in the comments how many incarnations do you feel you've had with your twin flame that you're aware of of course because i'm sure like none of us are aware of every single incarnation we've ever had but how many other incarnations are you aware of where you were with your twin flame and if so how did it end? <laughs> how, if I dare ask, how did it end? Um, is it something you feel you and your twin are traumatized by a little bit in this life and need to work through? I'm, I'm super curious as always. I say I'm a spiritual scientist. This stuff kind of helps me out with my research. Um, so I'd appreciate you sharing. And as always, if this video helped you in some way, me and the dragons and the twin flame collective would love you forever if you could like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell to be updated when I post on my super erratic schedule. And of course, to engage with this content in some way, because all of this gets this out to other twin flames and people that are feeling isolated and alone and crazy on their journeys. It helps them to get the clarity that they seek. So of course, me and the dragons and twin flame collective will love you forever anyways, but doing this one thing would certainly help everyone out. Either way, my friend, Know that I'm sending you so much love on your journey. Keep on keeping. Stay powerful.